One of the things I love to do on this channel is highlight some of the really fantastic free and open source games that we have available, especially on Linux, but most of these are also cross-platform. They're available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And today I wanted to cover one of the games that I remember playing when I first switched to Linux like 15 years ago, it's been around forever. It's kind of like the granddaddy of all our open source first person shooter games. And today I'm talking about Open Arena. Open Arena is based on the now open sourced id3 engine. It's basically Quake. And it has the same pacing as Quake as far as the same movements and the same weapons. It's very, very Quake-like. And I loved those old school id games back in the day. The old Quake games, Doom games, uh, Heretic, and all of that stuff. So I'm really excited to revisit Open Arena. So let me switch over to my desktop here and I'm going to go ahead and launch Open Arena. I found Open Arena on Arch in the AUR. And I'm going to go ahead and do a single player campaign. Now there are multiplayer online games that you can choose. If you go to multiplayer and on servers, I think by default it's set to using local servers like LAN servers. If you switch the servers to internet, you will get a listing of multiplayer servers out there. And there are a few people in these games. I see six people playing this game, two in this game, four in this game. It's not a ton of players in Open Arena online, but there, there's enough that you'll probably find a game. I'm going to do a single player campaign for purposes of this, of this video. So I'm going to choose this first map. And then I'm going to choose uh, my character is RTFM. That's my username in most of these games. And I'm going to choose, uh, I, we have the option of skirmish or fight. I'm not actually sure the difference between skirmish and fight. I usually choose fight for these and you have different levels of difficulty. I can win, bring it on, hurt me plenty, hardcore and nightmare. The default is bring it on. That's the normal level of difficulty. And unless you really know what you're doing, I would probably start with that or even the very easy one, but I'm going to do bring it on. So the normal level of difficulty, and then I'm just going to play around. So I get this weapon, I'm going to go get some health and you can see it's very reminiscent of some of the old Quake games, like, you know, Quake 3, basically, you know, some of the, or even the first Quake, it's kind of got that kind of retro kind of feel to it, which I like. Oh, she's throwing rockets at me, and I've got this lightning gun thing, which I don't really like. It doesn't seem like it does enough damage. You really gotta hold that lightning bolt on, to, on somebody for a while for it to do anything to them. All right, well, I tried to get her with the grenade launcher, but... Oh, I got somebody. Actually, I lost the lead, it said, so... so I haven't got any kills yet. Need to... And all I've got is this lightning gun. Let me get this thing. What is this, the grenade launcher again? Somebody behind me? No. All right, I need more opponents. All right now I've only got two opponents here. Probably could have told it more opponents. That's probably part of the difficulty. If I would have raised the difficulty, may have got more opponents. Ah, so it shoots a little canister that explodes, I'm assuming. Ooh, yeah. I gotta avoid the canister myself though. Alright. Wow, that canister sucks. Well, I got her with the lightning thing, even though I don't really like that weapon. Let's see what other weapons I can get. Is that like a shotgun? Uh, I could probably handle that. I like the normal guns in these games. The weird ones. Like I, I'm, I'm kind of this old school shooter mentality. Like I just give me a, a normal like rifle or shotgun. <laughs> These weird weapons, like the well, grenade launcher that's shooting the explosive canisters, you know, that's that's not really the kind of way I want to play. I want to say, like, I've got this normal gun now, and I'm doing all right. All right. Where are they at? Come on. Come on, you sons of beaches. <laughs> oh, I need to watch my language. First-person shooters always make me use foul language, though. 
think that's just part of playing shooters. You are tied. Where yet? I'm tied for the lead, even though I haven't done really anything. Oh. That was not good. Well, she's killing me with that rocket. Oh. Wow, I fell into some water. Oh, cool. Let me get back out of the water. Ah. And of course, I come back up right next to her. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. Oh, she is deadly with that rocket. All right, I got, I got my good gun now. Got my good gun now. Now let's go back to the shotgun. And that was like a repeating uh, gun there. Oh, not over yet. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I lost her. I, this is very different than some of the other open source shooters I've played on the channel. You guys have seen me play Zonotic and Unvanquished and Sour Brighton, which are all very, very fast paced. You know, they're more new school kind of shooters where it's this extreme fast motion that's will almost make you motion sick, you know, playing things like Unvanquished and Zonotic, where this is. This was, I mean, a, a really action-packed, fast kind of shooter back in the day, the old Quake games. But by today's standards, you know, this is much more of a slower speed game. Although, I wouldn't say it's... <laughs> it's slow by any means. I think this is just what I would refer to as a normal kind of shooter. Let me exit out of that. And that was just a few minutes of me playing through Open Arena, one of the classic free and open source games that's available, again, cross-platform, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Again, back in the day, I, I have a special place in my heart for this game because back in the day, we didn't have any games on Linux. This was way before Steam came to Linux, and actually native Linux games, we had just a few, and almost all of them were these first-person shooters that were based off of some of the old id Quake and Doom game engines because it had open sourced these engines that allowed these Linux developers to finally create these really awesome first person shooters that work natively on Linux. And that's why for a long time, like with, with open source games, like 90% of them were these first person shooters was really in large part to id open sourcing a lot of their technology. Of course, nowadays with Steam and ProTime, we have countless thousands of games available uh, through Steam and now playing some of these old school native games like Open Arena may seem silly to some but again it, I, I kind of like this retro kind of feel to some of these old school shooters and if you install Open Arena maybe check out the multiplayer games and if you spot somebody playing and their username is RTFM that may or may not be me if it looks like that person really knows what they're doing and they play really well it's probably not me now, before I go, let me thank a few people. I need to thank the sponsors of this episode. And of course, I'm talking about Devin Gabe, James, Maxim, Matt, Michael, Mitchell, Paul, Scott, Wes, Alan, Armor, Dragon, Chuck, Commander, Angry, Diokai, Dylan, George, Lee, Lennox, Ninja, Mike, Erjan, Alexander, Peace, Arch, Vador, Polytech, Triella, Teats for Lutz, Red Prophet, Steven, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at Open Arena would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by... Each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen, all these names you're seeing on the screen, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. It's just me and you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux, free and open source software, free and open source games, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. And yes, when you run out of ammo, you can switch to the saw.